Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Today in this video, we are going to learn all about Microsoft Power BI. This video is going to be very helpful to all those people who wants to start their career with this amazing self-service business intelligence tool. By the end of this video, you will know about business intelligence and its applications. All about Microsoft Power BI, career opportunities in Power BI, components of Power BI, and I will also present a demo to create your first Power BI report and how to share and collaborate with other users in your organization. All right, let's start with the introduction. The first thing you should know about business intelligence. So what is business intelligence? And what is its significance in organizations? Business intelligence comprises the strategies and technologies used by enterprises for the data analysis and management of business information. Common function of BI includes data analytics and reporting, data mining, dashboards development, predictive and prescriptive analytics, which helps you into making better data-driven decisions for your organization's growth. Microsoft Power BI is a self-service business intelligence tool. It can be used to convert raw data into meaningful information in the form of reports and dashboards. Now, if you want to know about career opportunity in Power BI, then I must tell you that Power BI is one of the most in-demand skills in business intelligence domain. At present, it has at least 25 to 30% more job opportunities compared to other BI tools available in the market. As for the Gartner's Magic Quadrant 2022, Microsoft is the leader in BI and analytics platforms. Most of the organizations are now adopting this tool as their preferred BI tool, which obviously creates more and more job opportunities. Now to start with Power BI, you should first learn about Power BI Desktop. Power BI Desktop is a free application you install on your local computer that lets you connect to, transform, and visualize your data. This application is basically a complete package to present your raw data into meaningful information. It has all the required tools in it. Power Query Editor to clean and transform your data, Power Pivot for data modeling and analysis, and Power View for data visualizations. Let's start with a hands-on with this amazing tool and create your first Power BI report on some sample data. First of all, let's open powerbi.microsoft.com. Here you will see all the supporting applications. But at present, we are interested into only Power BI Desktop. So, you have two options to download it. First link will take you to the Microsoft App Store, and if you install the application from this place, it will get automatically updated with the latest release. Another option is Advanced Download option, which will take you to another navigation, and there you can choose the language for your application, and you will be able to see the details and other details about the version, like file size and required resources. You can also choose 64-bit or 32 bits based on your computer system and download the exe file. I already have installed the application in my computer. Let's look into the first look of the Power BI Desktop. Here you see, Get Data option to connect with your data, your recently created Power BI files, and various other informative links to learn and explore about Power BI. Power BI files are get saved with the extension named as .pbix. At first, you see the canvas to create data visualization, native visual list, ribbon bar, and some sample data source to start. But you can click on the Get Data option, and click on More option, where you will see hundreds of different data sources to connect with. It has also been categorized into file, database, online services, and others. Power BI platform team is adding new data sources in this list with latest releases. And if by any chance you don't see your data source here, there is a high chance it will add it with future releases, or you can even use a custom connector for your data source if required. As said earlier, this tool is a package of three components each for data transformation, data modeling and analysis, and then reporting. Let's use this sample financial data given here to create our first report. In this example, I am using this data, but you can connect with your data source by clicking on Get Data option. If there is no cleaning or transformation required, then you can directly load this data. But if you click on Transform option, it will take you to the Power Query Editor, which can be called as an ETL tool for Power BI Desktop. Here you can do data cleaning and transformations to make your data reporting and analysis ready. For example, I am filtering out few options from this column, which I don't need, 
all the transformation steps will be recorded. And if any time you need to go back, you can remove the transformation steps. Although you can use all the transformations here along with advanced transformations with Python or R, you should not apply very heavy transformations in this file. If you need heavy ETL activities, use external ETL tools to load data into your data sources and then connect with Power BI, which will ensure the better performance. Here you can see various transformations are available, which can be used to clean your data for further use. Internally, all the transformations are recorded with a language called mCode. And if you learn this language, you can do even out of box transformations, which are not directly available on click basis. At beginner or some intermediate level as well, you will not be required to use custom M codes because most of the transformations are just few clicks away and you should utilize it. In this example, I have only one table, which I am going to load and will start creating some visuals. As the second stage of Power BI Desktop, which is to create data modeling and relationships between tables, which is required if you want to connect with multiple different directly or indirectly related datasets. Here I have only one data, so I don't need that. This is the data view, and I can verify my data here. Also, if required, I can add calculated columns in this table based on different logics. Data Analysis and Expressions, or DAX, is the language to do this analysis. We will learn all about this language in future sessions. Here in this data modeling view, you can create and manage relationships between your various tables. In this example, we are not going to do anything on these parts because I have my sample data ready and I want to create some visualizations, which will increase my interest in the tool. And then I can invest my time to learn more about all other features, functionalities, and the required functional languages. So, I will choose my favorite column chart, and then on X axis, I can drag and drop country names, and on the Y axis, I will put my sales column, and I can immediately see the visualization. When I started with this, I actually didn't know that it is that much easy to create these visualizations. If required, I can apply different formatting options to this visual, which will increase the user experience. This is amazing. Here you can see all the formatting options which can be used to format make this visual more attractive and useful. Let me add a text box to mention the title of this report, and then I will create few more visuals, and then we will publish this report for sharing and collaborations. Title of my report is my first Power BI report. You can choose the name of your choice or the requirements. Let's create some other visuals. So, I will create a donut chart, and there I want to see segment-wise COGS which is cost of goods sold. Just I need to drag and drop the fields and I can see the visuals and these visuals are interacting with each other. If I select something from one visual, it will show the relevant values in my second visual. Now I will create a line chart to see date wise units sold so that I can track the units sold on daily basis and detect some anomalies. Again, I can just drag and drop the fields on X and Y axis and I will see the visuals immediately. You might be thinking, is there only this many visuals then you will be amazed to know that these are Power BI native visuals. But you can also import many custom visuals from App Store and create your visualizations. It is recommended to use PBI certified custom visuals, but you can explore all of them. I will now create a matrix visual to see sales profit and total units sold all at one place by segment and product. Then we'll add some slicer to slice and dice my report to complete my report. If you are thinking, if these are so easy, then what is the need of learning more in this, like mCode, DAX Power BI Data Modeling, and others? So, you should understand that analyzing data by combining different data sources of different types, relations, and purpose at one place requires different logics to be applied. And for that, we need to learn all those required skills. But if you start learning it in a proper way, it is really easy to utilize all the functionalities to analyze and visualize your data with any complex business logics. All you need is a little bit of dedications, especially while learning DAX. As said, I am creating here a slicer to select a year filter for my report, so that if I will select a year, my entire report will be filtered for that particular year. One more slicer I am creating to select different countries from the top, and this slicer type I will choose as drop-down slicer. You can also copy and paste these visuals, and then change the fields. 
Here I am doing the same to create a product slicer as well. Just you can do Control C and then Control V to copy and paste then change the field by drag and drop. So, I am selecting products for this slicer and I will remove the country from the field section if required. I can also create a hierarchy slicer by keeping multiple fields. You also have options to insert various shapes or images. I will import a logo to keep on top left corner of my report. Then I will save this report with the name of my choice. As said, it will be saved as .pbix extension. Now this report is ready. So, to publish this report, I can click on Home button and then Publish button to publish this to Power BI service. The Power BI service is the cloud-based service where users view and interact with the reports. You can create workspaces, add people as viewers, members or admin, or you can share with other users as well. Apart from Power BI service, you can also choose to publish to an on-premises report server. Power BI is a collection of software services, apps, and connectors that work together to help you create, share, and consume business insights in the way that serves you and your business most effectively. To use Power BI service features you need to have a Power BI Pro, Premium per User or Premium Capacity License. These are not in scope for this demonstration, and we'll explain it in as Power BI service tutorials or classes. Purpose of this tutorial is to make you familiar with Power BI, and not to overwhelm you by starting with complex data transformations, data modeling or analysis with DAX. I hope you like this video. If these increases your interest to learn more about Power BI, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified for all interesting videos about Power BI.